Hey there, mama friend, and welcome to the 5-Minute Mom Podcast, where we'll talk about real life, real faith, real fast. For today's show notes or to get free Monday mom devotionals, visit audrahaney.com. Well, hey, friends, welcome back to the podcast. We are living in scary times, aren't we? And my soul is so grieved and heavy for our world as we face this virus and we're separated from our life-giving communities, our jobs, even our families. And I've had many thoughts on this virus, and no doubt you've already received an email or a message from every company on the planet. There's no shortage of dialogue, so I'll save all of my opinions. But today, it seems fitting that as we're in our Lent prayer reflections, we would just pray. So would you join me in prayer today? Father God, we are battling fear, and we are wrestling with the what-ifs, and we are unable to turn at this very moment, to the one thing that brings us strength, our spiritual families. There's so much we don't understand, but we come before you as the all-powerful creator, the only savior, and our loving father. We ask you for your mercy and your kindness to rule in these days. We don't attempt to understand what you cause or you simply allow But let our questions be this. What do you want to do in me in this time of hardship? And what do you want to do through me in this time of hardship? Today, we are forced to be still. We are unable to turn to any comfort except that of you and you alone, Christ. Our distractions are removed. Our false securities are torn down. Though this time may be ominous, we pray for it also to be holy. As we celebrate this time of Lent, a time to pull away from earthly pleasures, consecrate this year as a time of revival and renewal. May we emerge from this darkness and isolation, having met you there. As Jonah met you in the belly of a well, and Daniel met you in the lion's den, as Elijah met you in a cave, perhaps as we are forced to distance you are also drawing us close to you. Remind us that the revival starts with the church, not a building in which to gather, but your praying people. You say in 2 Chronicles 7, When I shut up the heavens so there be no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. May this be a time we call upon you. May we emerge having tasted your presence in our homes with a new appreciation for the body of Christ and our right to gather, with our idols cast down and our eyes cast upward. Today we lament and we grieve, but not as those without hope. You will remember and restore, Father. As we call out in repentance, we also remind you of the cross, bearing our sin and our shame and even our deserved sickness. Our hope is no longer in the things of the world that are so quickly stripped away. Our hope is in you and you alone, Jesus. And today we humble ourselves. Please hear from us. Please heal our land. And please heal us in a much deeper way than we could ever imagine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So that's the end of our five minutes. Please tune in again soon. If you want to learn more about me or sign up for the podcast newsletter or get a free devotional, visit audrahaney.com. And if you enjoyed this, would you please leave a quick review? Reviews are so important for podcasters and it helps more moms find us. It would be a great blessing.